So Chris, this is our big main event, the middleweight title here at Warrior Fight Series 4. And it is of action movie proportions, as we have the Joker taking on the Terminator. Jack Hermanson, the former Cage Warriors champion, is an animal, Malcolm. This guy has nearly a 90% finish rating. But then there's Carlos Vomola, also nearly a 90% finish rating. Hermanson possibly the edge in the kickboxing game, but Hermanson got to watch out for the chokes and the submissions of the Mola. Now let's put this in perspective for Warrior Fight Series and how much we've grown. We are talking a Bellator and a UFC veteran going head to here, head here at Warrior Fight Series 4. Jack Hermanson is outstanding. He has fantastic offensive wrestling, very good in the clinch, very fast. As I said, great punches and bunches with kicks behind it, but then there's Carlos Homola. An absolute terror of a man. Brutal choke game. This guy's like a bull in a china shop, and who knows what's gonna happen, but it's coming up right now. It doesn't get any bigger than this, so let's go to Buddy Johnson, our MC, to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Warrior Fight Series 4. It's main event time. Please welcome to K-Side, Jack Hammondson. So Chris, this is the big main event at middleweight, and you couldn't ask for two better performers. It's the Joker coming into the cage, and what a way to end the evening. So exciting. I mean, Jack Hermanson is a vicious striker. Very good boxing, good fluid kickboxing when he wants to. Shows a lot of angles, but he's also a brilliant national level wrestler and is on one of the biggest win streaks in this division in the world. Chris, we said in the build-up to this fight, we have got two of the very best men in Europe. Just, it's that simple. That simple. Two of the very best pound for pound, in my opinion. If you look at their ability to make guys just look silly. And Jack Hermanson has underrated power. You look at him and you look, compare him to Vamola, you think he's gonna be at a power disadvantage. Think again. He'll be on your back and hit you so hard, he will open up submissions. He has 89% of wins via finish. A true all-rounder with KOs, TKOs, and subs on his record. Six foot one from Oslo in Norway, and a real privilege here for us tonight at the York Hall. And his opponent, Carlos Vermola. With the music, you might have been waiting for Arnold Schwarzenegger to walk out of the fire, but make no mistake, that beast about to emerge is Carlos the Terminator Vamola. And if you saw him at the weigh-ins yesterday, his physique is really a spectacle to behold. Well, you mentioned Arnold Schwarzenegger. We've got a former bodybuilder here, haven't we? That's true, yeah. Carlos Vamola also with a strength and conditioning regime of a guy who was a former world-class strongman. That being said, speaking of world-class... Look at his legs, Chris. I know. Look at those thighs. I know, it's just scary, like tree trunks. He has... 88% of all wins via finish. Vicious, nasty choke game and brutal chop pressure with the passing game to back it up. His last two wins by a north-south choke literally put guys to sleep. Bomoa is big power in general that translates perfectly to MMA. The former UFC vet, though, is going to have his hands full of the Joker. Who looks very calm. Hermansen as he waits for Vermola to come into the cage. And the Norwegian from Frontline Academy cannot wait for this matchup. He believes he's got the upper hand, but Vermola is a beast. Cannot wait for this one. It's happening now. Yes, it's main event time. What an incredible main event it is as well. Fight fans, this is Warrior Fight Series 4. This is the main event of the evening. This bout, ladies and gentlemen, is for the vacant middleweight title and is sponsored by Lonsdale. GoFix.me, London Fight Store, Spearmint Rhino, and Daily Sport. We are ready for three five-minute rounds in the professional middleweight division. Introducing first, your first challenger, standing in the red corner. Standing six feet one inches tall and weighed in at 185.2 pounds. An impressive record of nine wins, two losses and zero draws from Oslo, Norway. 
a Bellator superstar and reigning cage warrior, middleweight champion of the world, Jack the Joker Hermanson. And his opponent, Santa Claus in the blue corner. Your second challenger standing six feet tall and weighing at 185 pounds. An equally impressive record of, a, of 16 wins with four losses and zero draws. From London, England, by way of the Czech Republic, he is your reigning UC MMA middleweight champion and former UFC superstar, Carlos the Terminator! When your main event action begins, your referee in charge, Rich Mitchell. Gentlemen, you will protect yourselves at all times and obey my instructions at all times. You keep fighting till I tell you to stop. Now touch gloves and step back. So Chris, what difference in body language. Manson, I've never seen a man look so relaxed. Vermola, I've never seen a man look so intense. One common denominator for these two is high-level experience. Hermanson, the Bellator veteran, Vamola, the UFC superstar. Both looking for a big win here in London at your call to punch the ticket back to the biggest shows in the world. And it's on. Yes, a big swinging right hook from Vamola set up that double leg takedown and single leg takedown attempt. And as predicted, Vamola just a bull in a china shop approach. He winds up a lot of those strikes, but very interestingly, Hermanson has actually come out the back door and locked one leg in underneath his armpit. What a precarious position. Yes, I don't think Carlos Vermola was expecting that. You did say when we were talking beforehand that one thing is Carlos does wind up his punches. You can see them coming, as powerful as they are. And without a doubt, the Joker known for a very sneaky approach, always busy. He's the type of fighter, no matter which position he's in, will always make you work and guess. But Vamola staying good and top heavy, stacking very hard here. And Hermanson may look to spin for an arm lock here, but he's going to have to unhook his right leg, which is obviously the lever that's keeping Vamola in place at this point. So there we go. That's the arm bar I thought he was going to look for. Wow. And Vimola looking to pass by stuffing that knee, but Hermanson is so active. And again, as you said, he's going for it again. And hooking the leg is the Joker looking to lock up that figure four. That looks really deep, Malcolm. And Vimola in early trouble. The Joker with premium level traction gets spiked. Wow. And going to look to go to an armbar, I believe, is the Joker. But Vamola's doing the right thing, staying very heavy and stacking him, Malcolm. Well, as you said, Chris, it's the experience of both these men. But I said the Joker looked so calm and collected prior to this. And Vamola's been under pressure very early. Wow. Right to the arm bar. That looks really deep. And Vamola trying to limp arm out of it. But that's a very dangerous escape when that arm is hyperextended. Oh, my goodness. Wincing in pain. Oh, my goodness. He's not going to tap. That's it. Oh my goodness, that's the win for the Joker. I think he broke his arm there. Malcolm, what They're calling a in the medics, you're right. Vermola would not tap. He's paid the penalty for not tapping. What a feather in the cap of the Joker, Jack Hermanson, extending that winning streak. What a win. Wow. But Chris, his whole body language before the fight was so cool, so calm, so confident. The medics have taken Vermola straight away. He would not tap. He's paid the price. But Hermanson. His whole body language before the fight said, this is going to be my victory, and so it proved. And Hermanson, look, arguably took on Vamola, who was his greatest test to date. Hermanson was certainly Vamola's toughest opponent, at least outside of the UFC. And Vamola, although went in really hard and quick, like we always knew he would, Hermanson has that proven record of being able to stay strong, stay calm and collected, and capitalize at the highest level here in MMA and WFS. Were you surprised that Vimola didn't tap? No, I mean, Vimola's seen it all. He's been all over the world and fought the very, very best. And he went for a very risky escape, if you look at the, the, the replay there, and trying to limp arm out and quickly jerk out. The danger is, is that you allow the arm to become hyperextended. Alternative ways of defending include trying to wrap your arms up and collapse and avoid that arm lock. He gambled and he paid. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the championship belt to our winner will be Adam Deacon. Film star. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for both fighters this evening. Come on.
Our main event ended two minutes, eight seconds off the first round. Your winner by Armbar and new middleweight champion of the world, Jack the Joker Hermanson. All right, I'm here with the champ, the Joker, Jack Hermanson, Jack. Vomola came out and did what everybody thought he would do and rushed you, took you down, and stacked you. Then you came out the back door in a very crazy position. We thought you were going to set up the armbar. Talk us through how that went there on the replay. Uh, I went uh, into like a crucifix position on the bottom, and uh, I was trying to figure something good out to do there. But then I think uh, I went back to guard and uh, wrist control, triangle, basic stuff. Uh, triangle didn't work, so I switched to armbar and got the finish. Now, you have a reputation for staying very busy and keeping your opponents guessing. Now, you were in a terrifying spot early with that guy on top, but as you said, you used your basics and you came away with the big win. He tried to limp arm out with that arm. I think you broke it. Was that surprising? Uh, I hope I didn't broke it, but... Uh... Uh, I had a pull, you know, he's, he's a strong guy, so I definitely put, put in some power into that armbar, and I just hope he's all right. Now, Jack, you are without a doubt one of the very best in the world at your weight class, and in my opinion, one of the best pound for pound. Where do you look to go next? Because you're so impressive the way you've been taking guys out lately. One of the hottest streaks out there. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna pick anything, but hopefully I will be in the... In the, in the big league very soon. Ladies and gentlemen, the Joker, worthy of that big shot moving up, it's Jack Hermanson. Thank everybody for coming. Jack Hermanson, the champ, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for Warrior Fight Series 4. Thank you so much for coming along and making the night an exciting and electric fine night that it is. We'll be back next time, right here at the iconic York Hall. Good night, God bless. Have a safe journey home.